Dr. Seuss week, right? That's why I'm wearing this silly hat. I have something to show you in a couple of minutes and I hope it works because I got my tall hat on, right? What do I have here, guys? Is it my picnic basket? Have you ever gone on a picnic before? No. What about to the beach? Taking food to the beach? That's a picnic, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. If you bring snacks in a bag, that's considered a picnic. Yeah. You went to a picnic on the beach. Let's see what's inside. Can we see what's inside of my picnic basket? Okay. What do I have here? A sandwich. I like to have chips with my sandwich. And I also like I also like watermelon to have with my picnic. And if I get thirsty, maybe I'll have some lemonade. lemonade. Do you like lemonade? Yeah. yeah. Like lemonade. And then for dessert, lemonade. I might have some pie. Oh, yeah. Do you think I would have enough with my food in my picnic no. basket to feed me and my husband? Yeah. Yeah, for the two of us. What about all of my friends today? Do you think I would have enough with just a bag of no. chips yeah. and only one sandwich? Yeah and only one piece of watermelon. Are you sure? I wouldn't have enough. What about if we asked everyone in school here to come and join us, would we have enough food? No. What about all of Largo? Would we have, no. are you sure? No. Well, it would be a miracle if we did have enough food, right? So this is what I'm gonna show you what a miracle is. Do you remember last, not last week, but the week before that, the miracle, the first miracle that Jesus made, what was it? He did what with water? Turned it into wine. Turned it into wine, right. Do you think it would be a miracle if I cut a hole in this paper and it would fit over my body? No. Do you think I could do that? No. Are you sure? Okay. Are you sure that I can't do that? All right. So if you were, I'm going to start cutting here. I'm going to start asking you a question. I'm going to fold it a little bit this way. If you were gonna go on a picnic, what would you bring? One at one at a time. I'm gonna ask I'm gonna ask each friend in a row what they would bring on a picnic while I'm cutting my piece of paper. Lilia, what would you bring on a picnic? One one thing. An apple sandwich? And some peanut butter jelly. A peanut butter jelly sandwich. Okay, Eliana, what would you bring on a picnic? Chips, okay. Sophia, what would you bring on a picnic? Um, sausage. Sausage and eggs. And eggs. Mm, this sounds like a breakfast picnic. <laughs> and I like Cheetos. and Cheetos. Everybody likes I Cheetos, Cheetos, right? Cheetos. I'm going to ask my friend Adeline, what would you like to put in the picnic basket if you were going on a picnic? Okay, I don't know what that is. Harper, what would you like to bring with you on a picnic? A pie. A pie. What, kind of, like what kind of pie? What kind of pie? Um, apple pie. Apple pie. Oh. Apple pie. Lucas, what would you like to bring with you in your picnic basket? Lilia, can I ask my friend Lucas? Thank you. Peas? You like to bring peas in a picnic basket? Carter, what would you like? An apple and fruit. and fruit. Okay. Um, Anthony, what would you like to bring on your picnic? Oh, that sounds like a good picnic food. Xander, what would you like? I would like to bring Cheetos. Cheetos. Okay. And Joey, what would you like to bring on your picnic basket? Chocolate. I figured that, Joey. So, is my paper starting to get a little bit bigger? Yeah. Did I ask you, do you think it would be a miracle if I could put this paper over my whole body? Yeah. No. Do you think I'm going to be able to do it? Yeah. Because oh, it would be a miracle if I could, right? I am almost there. I only have a couple more pieces of paper to cut here, and then I'm going to show you. Do you think I can get it over my Dr. Yeah. Seuss hat? Uh, all right, I'm almost here. Okay, if you are ready, turn off your voices because I'm going to come over here so I can show you. Do you think this is going to fit over my body? 
This would be a miracle if it could, right? Let's see, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Let me see, up and over. It was a miracle, wasn't it? That little piece of paper fit over my body. And it's not really a miracle what I did, it was more like a trick. But Jesus' Bible lesson today is a real miracle. It's a real miracle. Who do we have here, guys? Jesus. That's right. He was in the Sea of Galilee. Can you say Galilee? Galilee. Yeah. He went over there because he was very sad. He heard something about his cousin. Who was his cousin? John? John. John the Baptist, right? He heard something very sad about him, and he was very sad. So he went over to the Sea of Galilee to pray, and his friends were with him. Who were his friends? They were called the, remember, the dis disciples. Basically, they were 12 friends, Lilia. They were 12 friends that followed him wherever he went. We've got 11 or 12 friends here today, and they follow you all over, right, Lilia? They do. They follow you all over the place because they're your friends. And that was Jesus' friends. That I know. Jesus doesn't have a number. He doesn't have a number, right? Well, they're at the Sea of Galilee, and Jesus is there, and all of a sudden, a crowd of people start following him because they heard about all of the things that he was doing. He was making people feel better that were not feeling good and they all wanted to see Jesus. And all of a sudden it got late in the day and their tummies started growling and they were hungry. And Jesus told Philip, he says, do you think that you could tell them to go and get some food and buy some at the market? And Jesus asked Philip this, but he already knew the answer. And Philip told him it would take more than 200 silver coins to feed just a few people. So there was a little boy that was there and he had five loaves of bread and he had two fish. Do you think that that would feed 5,000 people that were there? Well, it was a miracle because Jesus took that bread and he looked up at the sky and he broke that bread and he gave thanks to God. And guess what happened? He did the same thing with the fish. He gave thanks to God for the fish. And all of a sudden there was so much food that everybody, 5,000 people were there and they all ate and their bellies were so full and there was 12 baskets of food left over to have later. Do you see the 12 baskets? Can we count to 12? One, Well, baskets of food left over. That was a miracle because they only started out with how many loaves of bread? Five. 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 And how many fish? Two. Two. And Jesus gave thanks to God for that, and it turned into all this extra food and fed everybody. Can we give thanks to God for that? So praying hands, friends. Dear God, we just thank you for your miracles that we know are true. And we thank you for Jesus, for always giving us what we need. And all of our friends said, Amen. Okay.